What's going on, NBA fanatics? This is your friendly neighborhood Memphis Grizzly homer, Memphis X, and I talk hoops. Today, we are talking about the Grizzlies are streaking. But first, every hero needs their theme music. This is Memphis X with I Talk Hoops. While you are here, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell to be notified every time I drop a video. I have a goal to reach 3,000 subscribers by the playoffs, and I'm going to need your help to get there. Thank you. There are only 15 games left in this season, and it is coming down to it. The Grizzlies got another win, and first on the road in a while with a blowout win over the hapless Dallas Mavericks, 104 to 88. And, of course, like the last video, I was wondering, will Roddy do it again? And he did off the bench. 26 minutes, 19 points, 8 of 11 from the field, 3 of 5 from three-point line, 5 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, 1 block, and only 1 turnover. He was plus 9, and the Grizzlies looked decent. They didn't look great. Uh, we have Dylan Brooks taking 19 shots. That's always not great. 19 shots, got him 19 points. But... They needed him to take those shots because Jaron Jackson decided to pull his second no-show in a row against Dallas. And, of course, you're getting nothing out of John Conchar offensively. You got nothing out of Luke Kennard offensively. You got a little bit out of Santi Aldama and, you know, Xavier Tillman is Xavier Tillman. But Jaron Jackson has got to show up better, an all-star with an all-star out, he needs to step his game up, and it's very disappointing that he has played so poorly the last two games and made it very hard on his teammates to get these wins, and they won despite Jaron, not because of him, and that is disappointing. Also, Tyus Jones is getting his audition on. A lot of shots from Tyus, a lot of shots. 12 shots, three assists. Yeah. Three turnovers. When Tyus has three assists and three turnovers, you know he is doing too much with the ball. He is not running the offense. It is He is having an out-of-body experience. Desmond Bain did get 23 points, seven rebounds. I mean, eight rebounds, seven assists. So Dylan and Santi and Bain had as many or more rebounds than, I mean, assists as Tyus Jones, our point guard. Also, after the night, the Grizzlies are once again the number one defense in the NBA. Also, the Grizzlies are the number one team in scoring differential in the Western Conference. Also, the Grizzlies are all alone in second place in the West. So, although... We are going through some trying times. We have to remember where we are as far as the rest of the teams in the league goes. And a lot of other teams, I would say right now, there might be three or four teams having a better time of it. Three or four fan bases having a better time of it right now. The Bucks, the Kings, the Knicks, the Nets, and of course, the guys that are going for Wimby, they're pretty happy. But, you know, their sadness comes on lottery night. So right now we are still hoping and hoping beyond hope that we get Ja Morant and Steven Adams back and are able to make something happen in the playoffs. If not, it is going to be a quick exit for the Memphis Grizzlies in the playoffs, I do believe. I believe it will be four to five games and out if they do not have John Morant 
and or Stephen Adams in the playoffs just don't they just don't score well enough to be able to combat any playoff defense. So it's going to be rough, and uh, we'll see. But like I said, three game winning streak. You can't be mad at that. You got to just take the good with the bad right now. Stop. We got to stop worrying about the long range plans. This season does not feel like a championship season. It would have to be a hell of a turnaround to get there. And our health just that seems in front of us. So we have currently the longest winning streak in the West, along with the Clippers, and the second longest winning streak in the NBA. And people think we are in dire straits. Also another fan base that's feeling good about themselves. Philadelphia 76ers, who are on a five-game winning streak. So, guys, it is what it is. We cannot get too down on the little things. Focus on the big picture. Third youngest team in the NBA, and we are still second in the West. Despite all the adversity we have had in the last month with injuries, John Morant being out, uh, the road woes, uh, losing Brandon Clark for the season. You know, it has been a long month. But, but, like I said in the last video, hopefully there is a light at the end of this tunnel. Peace. <laughs>